Hi there, your computer friend Connie here. In this video, we're going to talk about OneNote and in particular, we're going to talk about shapes and highlights and how this can make your pages come alive. So let's start by drawing some shapes. So let's start with something really simple here. So I'm going to go to the draw ribbon here and I'm going to go to shapes. And from this button, I can choose basic shapes or arrows. So let's just pick a basic shape. And pretty simple, right? Okay, and drawing the arrows, I would pick the arrow and then wherever I want the arrow to come from and point to is where I'm gonna end up. So I'm gonna come from here, point to the box. So I'm just gonna drag in that direction then. Now the color of my shapes is dictated by the pen that I might have last used. So you notice in the draw toolbar, there's a number of pen colors. And if you click on one of them, they're actually, as you click on them, you'll see there's a little arrow. So you could pick different colors from the menu as well as a different thickness if you want. So I'm on a pen color that's red. If I don't want to change it, I can just click on that color there. And because I had my arrow highlighted at the time, it's changed my arrow to that color. Let's draw another shape, but let's use the blue highlighter so it looks quite different. So I'm gonna go to shapes draw the oval and there you can see the highlighter and if I don't like that color I can see what it looks like in different colors with that shape still selected now I don't have to use shapes to draw I can certainly just take a pen and I can draw whatever I want or highlight whatever I want so let's find out where you would use this in practical terms within OneNote and so I'm going to go to an existing page so you can see it in use there so I'm gonna to go to my meeting notes page here. And let's say that I wanted to really put some attention to something that's on this page. I have a couple of highlights already going, but maybe I want more than that. Maybe I wanna circle around something. So I'm gonna to go to my shapes and let's choose the circle. And let's say I'm gonna start a little bit of ways. Now that didn't go quite where I wanted it to. So I do have a four headed arrow that I can use to move that circle over. And so now I have a circle around the word meeting notes. So that's kind of fun. I can certainly do that, of course, with the squares, but this time let's maybe make it a little bit different. I'll choose the red again and let's make a square. Ah, for some, I chose a red again. You saw me pick the square, but it didn't keep that shape. It's now letting me draw freehand. So let's just undo that. So I have red selected. Let's go back to shapes. Let's pick the square. So the square has to be picked after the color is what we learned from that. So let's go here and let's create that box. And again, I didn't line it up the best way possible. So I'm gonna have to move that box over. So I don't see a four-headed arrow coming up that would help me move this box over. So I actually have to get out of pen mode to do that. So I'm gonna go to the, my, my draw toolbar and the icon that has an A and a cursor on it, that is letting me go back to selecting my text or selecting objects. So let's click on that. And now I get a four-headed arrow and now I can move the box over and maybe resize it a bit so it doesn't cover my other text here. Okay, now one more example for you. And this one is a really good practical example as to why would I ever use shapes? Yeah, that's kind of cute, Connie, but we don't really do that in our notebooks, right? And that the reason that I would use the shapes and the, the drawing tools a lot is because I've actually inserted maybe an email into my OneNote notebook, or I've inserted a PDF, or some kind of object that has information on it. So here's an example of something that I inserted already and that I want to put a circle around some stuff and maybe highlight some stuff as well. And you see, I've already got the arrows in place to tell me what to do. So let's go back to that draw toolbar and let's pick, uh, let's pick a different color this time. I'm just gonna go to my drop down and let's pick a green. And then we'll pick our shape. And so we want to do a circle. So I'll go far away from that text. Nah, still not quite far enough. I do want to make it wide enough, but as you can see, I'm kind of covering some of that text. So I want to be able to move this up. So again, I have to go to that other item on my toolbar for selecting objects or selecting text. And then I get a four headed arrow and then I can move that up a little bit and maybe change it a bit in terms of the size and I certainly can 
yeah, play with that a little bit. So that this is your key here, making sure you click on this so you can make changes to whatever you drew, right? Well, the second example we wanna do is highlight. So this is a great thing that you wanna consider is that, okay, I have this object, or in this case, a PDF in front of me, and I wanna highlight it, like I would highlight a book or a piece of paper and stuff. So how do I highlight? The best way to highlight is use your highlighter on your draw toolbar. So we're gonna to go to the highlighter here, and we're just gonna start highlighting. Um, I kind of want it to be a little bit thicker, so I'm going to just undo that. And I'm going to go to the drop down beside my highlighter, and I see I have it on the smallest thickness. So I'm just going to go over here to make it really thick. That's maybe a little bit too thick. That will go halfway. Okay, click on it again. And now I'm going to highlight. Yeah. There. A lot of fun. Perfect. So there's a few examples of where you can use OneNote to be much more like you have your paper notebook in front of you and draw circles around things and highlight things. And, and also examples of how it can be more than just your text that you've typed in there, but it could be maybe a page that you dropped in there, an email that you dropped in there. So give that a try. This example was taken from my new book on Work Smarter with Microsoft OneNote. I'd love for you to give that book a look at. You can get it on Amazon or any online uh, book service that you can find. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.